How do you hold the government accountable while ensuring citizens are well informed about their needs? Before the community followed the money, the community was in the dark. We don't know what government were doing to us. There's been a gap in interaction with the community members. The community was lacking behind because most of the peoples were not attending school. The MacArthur Foundation invested in connected development efforts in Kaduna State to implement an initiative that enables citizens and government leaders to work together for increased development. This strategic initiative is known as Follow the Money. Follow the Money is important in my community because it empowers people within and outside the community with information to demand for transparency. There are a lot of changes uh, in the community, especially in respect to people's mindset when it comes to their rights to demand for transparency and accountability in governance. They work hand in hand with government by confirming and making sure all the assigned projects are being done as required. With the constant advocacy by Connected Development, we are able to say that community members are more aware of what is happening around them. There's this renewed effort to ensure that for every new project, we must inform the people of what is to come and what expectations should be. Follow the money is important in Kaduna State because Kaduna State have signed up on the Open Government Partnership. Follow the money would help ensure the acceleration and implementation of this important policy commitment from the government, creating an environment where citizens can give feedback and where they can hold their government to account on public expenditure. The strategy we use in Kaduna to decrease the number of out of school children is to get the community members get the education sector to work together. First, we, we, we created what we call the school monitoring teams, which is a mixture of all the community governance structure to be able to track the implementation of school projects across board. Follow the Money's implementation in Kaduna State focused on the delivery of public school infrastructure in four local government areas, Jema'a, Kajuru, Kudang, and Zangon Kata. Follow the money bottom-up and top-bottom approach is taking data needs assessment from the community, imputing it into government development plan, and taking government commitment down to the people to collect feedback. Community members and follow the money campaigners can together track government implementation. Batasan. <laughs> Gameda Abu Bwada Gomna Tikis Sukeiba Se Bayanzua follow the money Kamisuka Wai Mana de Kai Community Tagani Abu Bwada Gomna Kiti Sukei. When follow the money came, the community benefited and so many people started attending the school. In January 2020, Follow the Money interventions in Kaduna State have tracked the construction and rehabilitation of 23 primary schools in the four local government areas, amounting to $1.58 million in public funds for over 200,000 community members. The communities where Follow the Money has worked now have decent schools which have seen nearly 10,000 additional enrollments. As this case study shows, Follow the Money provides an intriguing opportunity to invest in an innovation that is scalable with a locally-led approach to accountability that anyone from anywhere in the world can contribute to. Code's successful implementation of Follow the Money in Kaduna State is an inspiration and a reminder that if communities are strategically empowered, they can work together to change the narrative for themselves and for future generations. 
For more information, please visit followthemoney.org.